Dropouts and thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Matthew. I make daily Shopify videos giving you guys actionable steps you can take today to improving your Shopify store, increasing conversions, getting more sales in and generally just building a great passive income stream through Shopify. And I also give away 15 minute consulting calls every single video. All you got to do is subscribe, like and leave a comment down below letting me know the title of your favorite movie of 2018. 2018 is coming to an end. Let's see your favorite movies this year. Now for today's video, I hope you guys brushed up on your ad copy because as you know, Google ads focuses a lot on text, especially when you're making search ads. And we are going to be focusing on building a really, really captivating ad copy, taking as much space as we possibly can so that we maximize our conversions. I'm going to be showing you guys how to find proper ad words, how to be finding and how to create the ads itself and just how to write the ad copy to make a really engaging, really captivating ad for Google ads. So hope you guys are excited for that. Let's jump onto my computer and get this process started. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so let's get this Google ads party started. And what you're going to want to do first is just go up to your Google app store, the uh, Chrome extension store. And what you're going to want to do is get this. This is keywords everywhere keyword tool. And let me just show you really quickly what this does. So if I were to Google Christmas sweater, for example, what we're going to have here is a bunch of data about the volume of the searches, you know, the average CPC that we're going to be expecting and the competition level. So uh, this isn't that accurate. And I wouldn't use this as the only means I would obviously mostly use Google keyword planner because you know, that is made by Google. Google, and we know that that's going to be the number one method for finding good keywords. But this is a good way of just kind of guesstimating, kind of seeing some related searches to get an idea of things that are related to the product that you want to sell. So in this video, what I'm going to be focusing on is this piece right here. This is a dog knit sweater. So we got to start with figuring out what keywords we're going to want to target and what keywords people are using when they're buying Christmas dog sweaters or dog sweaters in general. So we go ahead and just start with dog sweaters. What's popping up with Google shopping and what's what kind of products are popping up in general. And this is actually a really great product research method as well that we can end up using somewhere in the future where you just look at the ads being run. And, and most of the time uh, they would actually take you to non not these huge companies like the Hudson's Bay, if you guys don't know, it's a Canadian company, but it would actually take you to small Shopify stores. So kind of unlucky in that term, but let's just write Christmas dog sweater. Let's see what's popping up. Maybe we can find a product very similar to ours. So again, we're not seeing any shopping ads except for from amazon.ca, but they're charging $39 for a sweater like that. Our sweater is only $14.99, but right here we can just have a look and kind of see related keywords here. So we got dog Christmas apparel. So it only has 210 search volume, but dog coats, maybe chili dog sweaters, Canada. Uh, I think these are actually us search terms. So we'd actually have to make sure that we're looking at, yeah, let me just go to, let me, let me make sure this is .com. I think this is the these search terms are kind of too, too small. Uh, yeah. So large dog sweaters, matching sweaters for dogs and owner. Okay. So, and also, I mean, we can, again, use this as a, a product research tool. So, you know, we see that maybe we can make like a bundle that would be extremely adorable for cats and I mean, for, for your dog and your human. I think that would be something a lot of pet owners would absolutely love. But again, not the point of this video. So that's one method, right? We can just go search our competition, have a look at how much they're pricing their products. That's a $17. Again, we're, I think we're very competitively priced puts us into a good position. So uh, now let's, let's turn over to Google keyword planner. So Google keyword. So I actually do have an ad I've, I've just launched a couple hours ago and I'm going to, we're going to go ahead and analyze that ad and we're going to be talking about, I'm not actually going to make an ad in front of you. I'm just going to show you guys the kind of the thought process I went through when making the ad, right? We can just go to keyword planner here in tools. It's a lot like their version of audience insights. If you want to think about it that way. And you know, we get find new keywords and we can write dog Christmas. Christmas sweater, something like that. Let's get started with one keyword and then Google will go ahead and just show us a bunch of related keywords that we can think about, you know, putting into our own products. So that's going to be helpful as long as it loads. And here we go. So as you guys can see, we can find all bunch of related keywords. We can see the top of the bid, the, uh, the top of the page bid. And obviously you want to bid a little bit higher than this so we can get to the top of the page, but we'll talk about that later. So cheap dog sweaters, Jesus Christ. So these are some pretty expensive keywords that we want to consider. And as you can see, these were not the prices that we were seeing with keywords everywhere. So keywords everywhere has got to be taken with a grain of salt. But again, I'd still recommend using it because having that data so quickly is interesting, right? We can build off that data, even though it's not 100% accurate, we can just get a good idea of exactly what it is. So you know, once we do that, we can go back to our Google ads, we can go right here to this plus button, create a new campaign. And from there, we can do a search ad, we can do sales, and we would do website visits, you'd put in your website name. So let's go here right? Sales search two. you you'd put in the countries that you'd want. So all countries and territories, maybe English audiences. Uh, so we do conversions, we do $10. Well, let's just do 12. Cause that's what I clicked. 
save and continue. And here we go. Now we're taken to our ad groups. And this is going to be the most important part. This is what keywords are going to trigger bidding wars and or auctions from which we'll be bidding, right? The maximum bid price. And depending on how high we bid, we'll change how high Google ends up putting us up in their rankings or how high of an ad we get placed. So it was, is it going to be on the top page? Is it going to be on the second page, third page, whatever. And here we actually have three options. So every keyword that you put in, so let's say I put in like poop, all right? So that's going to be a broad match keyword. So what that means is that Google is going to autofill anything that's like remotely similar to poop. So sh it'll put in words like shit, crap, feces, <laughs> you know, uh, it'll put in like every kind of word that's that's broadly related. Now, here is going to be phrase match. So if I put in, you know, go to the toilet, what it'll do is it'll build based on that. So go to the toilet today, go to the toilet tomorrow, go to the toilet in Tokyo, go to the toilet in China, right? Stuff like that. So delete that. And then finally, we have the exact keyword. So if you literally just want to be like Lululemon, okay, for example, there you go. That's exactly Google will take that exactly the way you see it there. So let's look save and continue with just Lululemon. And now here is going to be where you actually edit the ad. So a couple things that I want to mention here when you're making an ad on Google ads is that first of all, uh, you're going to put in your link into the final URL. Now here, now this is actually one of the ads I'm testing. So I'm testing three of them. And the one I'm just going to let you guys know right now, but this is the one that's populating. So we'll just leave it there. Well, how I like to start all of my ads is headline one will be some kind of call to action and then the name of the sweater. So get order. I think I used order on my favorite one, but whatever order get, you know, throw in a trademark sign in there somewhere, do something along those lines. And then headline two, I'd like to state the discount and then headline three, I'll write, you know, I'll add some kind of scarcity to it. So this is actually new Google ads just added this pretty, not, not super recently, but whatever. And then finally, uh, we get to the display path where I like to at least put in keywords that are related. So I wrote dog clothing and Christmas. I also had flash sale and Christmas sweater or dog Christmas sweater or dog sweater. So basically just kind of use keywords that are somewhat related to the actual advertisement in question. So, her, and then finally we have the description and here, you know, you want to write something kind of cute. You have, you only have 90 characters. It's not many. So make every word count, figure out ways to replace, you know, use contractions, figure out if you can use symbols. Oh, and by the way, here, I like to use symbols. So also, but so here instead of, and, you know, so keep your, keep your furry friend warm and cozy this holiday season with the adorable Chris, with this adorable Christmas sweater. Okay. Whatever. Or the adorable Christmas sweater. doesn't really matter, right? They kind of get the idea human sent to, Oh, and also guys, huge thing. Make sure to capitalize every letter or capitalize the beginning of every word. So once you have that all done, I mean, that's going to be it. You're going to hit save and continue and you're going to create the ad. So the ad will be confirmed. Now, let me show you guys really quick. If we go search up, uh, okay, so there we go. So now we see that we can see that this ad is much bigger than this ad right here. And the reason they do that is because they add a few other descript uh, description lines that, you know, add to the size of the ad, even though these are kind of the same size, but just imagine one's a little thinner than the other. Okay. I can't find an exact example for us, but the way you do this is you're going to head on over back to your Google ads. So just, let's just delete this campaign because we're not actually going to be using it. I really hope this is not actually live. So let's just pause this because I don't know what the fuck this is. So head on over back to home, just hit on your Google ads. And what we're going to do from here is head on over down to doggy Christmas sweater. So what you're going to do is just head on over to your ads and extensions. And as you can see, what we're going to do is head on over to one of them, hit on extensions and see all these extra extensions are basically extra little signs and symbols in our in our ad. So here we can add types. So that's a structured snippet extension. We can add the types. So for example, if I click out here, call out extension, here's our call out extensions, call out extension, call out extension, call out extension. And we have is customer 24 customer 24 seven customer support, free worldwide shipping, best prices, secure checkout. So that's, that's an example of a call out extension. And again, that adds volume to our description. You can also do site link extensions. So like home fac, uh, whatever else you want to do your collections, for example, and here you can do your structured snippets, which is like types. What else can we do? Let's go try that. Let's, let's just save. Oh, let's cancel that. Let's go add here. And you know, we can do our price extensions. We can show the prices of our products, all that kind of stuff. And, and this is actually a huge one. So this makes things really easy. And I mean, we can go ahead and just do that, but you know what? No, I'm not going to, I don't, I have not screwed around with that. So, it's a new thing actually, I think, but yeah, I mean, that's creating an ad in a nutshell. So these two actually got impressed. Okay. Well, whatever. Anyway. So yeah, that's how you make an ad. And I actually forgot to mention as well. So when you're actually in your Shopify admin, 
if you go to the marketing site or on your homepage, you should actually have a voucher for $100 off your Google Ads account. So to actually claim that, what you're gonna wanna do is head on over to your billing and payments and go to payment methods. Nope, go to settings. And in settings, right down here is gonna be promotional codes. What you're gonna do is just click manage promotional codes and enter the code that you get on Shopify and you're gonna get $100 once you spend $30. So uh, that's an incredible return on investment and a lot of money to play around. I mean, it's not really that much money, but you know, it's a good amount of money to start playing with Google Ads. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't actually go through actually building it, but it's already 15 minutes and we didn't actually write the ad copy, but you guys hopefully got the point. And that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.